Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to study chapter number 3, Indices and Cube Root, practice set number 3.3. We are going to complete in today's video. So let's start with the first question from practice set number 3.3. We have to find the cube root. Now finding the cube root is very easy by the method of factorization. I will be showing you how to find the prime factors and then find your cube roots. Okay, so it is very easy method. I will show you all the methods that are being used over here in this exercise. So the first question is 8 so how are you going to find the cube root of 8000 now we all know how we are going to find the cube root of 8 so first we will find for 8 how are you going to get 8 by using the prime factors only okay so 2 into 2 into 2 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 all right now we have to get three zeros so how is it that possible if we multiply 10 3 times we will be getting 3 zeros. See 1, 2 and 3. So when we get 3 similar numbers then we can write it in this form. 2, 3 times the power of 3 and 10, 3 times the power of 3. Now we will take the common numbers that is 2 and 10 in bracket and 3 is similar so we will write it after the bracket now two tens are 20 and you have got the cube root of 8000 that is 20 now in the form of cube root how are you going to write this three you will have to write it in the root form and 8000 over here the answer is supposed to be 20 isn't it easy so this is one of the method you all can follow if you all have got the numbers 0 0 and the easiest number okay so this is the first method to use uh, for finding the cube root now the second one is 729 now again for this number also you all, you all can use the similar method but i am going to show you the again the easiest way how to find the cube root now we don't know how to find the cube root of this big number so what we can do is we can factorize over here i'll show you 729 all right now what we can do is we can find uh, the factorization method by using the table of suppose we will take 3 okay so 3 2s are 6 3 4s are 12 3 3s are 9 again we will take 3 because it is divisible by 3 so we will take 3 3 8s are 24 and 3 1s are 3 Alright, so what we have done is we have got a square root, isn't it? 81 and this 3 we can use it. Alright, so this 3 into 3 will become 9. So we have to use 9 into 81. If we multiply 9 into 81, you will be getting 729. Now why I am using it? I will show you 9 into 81 as I have shown you all over here. Now, 9 we will keep it as it is but how are you going to get 81 9 nines are 81 isn't it easy so you all have to use a few basics over here and this method is easiest you all don't have to use mine factorization method everyone knows only it should be clicked but 81 how are you going to get 81 if we multiply 9 nines and already we are getting 9 so this is logic you all have to use few logic over here now 9 you all have got 3 times so write 9 over here and 3 power and at the end you are going to write 729 is the cube root of 9 got it isn't it easy so you all can try this method and this method you all have to try only if, if you all are having zeros over here so two methods i have shown you all let's start the third sum now for the third sum 343 okay so again i will show you by the factorization method how you are going to find it so 343 you all have to see in which table you will be able to get 343 so you all will not be able to get directly so factorize it i will be factorizing it with a table of 7 7 4s are 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 so the answer is 63 
63 now over here we have to find the number for 63 so 7 9s are 63 isn't it so again if we are going to factorize you will be getting see 7 7s are 49 and 7 1s are so from this method what you have got 7 into 7 into 7 okay so 7 you all have got 3 times therefore 3 power of 3 is equal to 7 got it over here also further if you all are going to factorize you will be getting 3 9s I will show you again 9, 9s are 9, 1s are. So from here you have got 1 9 and this 9 and this 9. Okay, so this is the first method as I have shown you all. Second method and the same method I have used over here also to find the third sum. Now for the fourth one, the question is minus 512. So this minus have gone little up. Now let us factorize this first and then write the numbers then write the multiples so over here what i will be doing is all the numbers i will use for the table of 2 okay now why i am using 2 because in the units place 2 is there so easily i will be able to factorize till the end so over here see 2 2's are 4 2 5's are 10 2, 6, 12. If you all are not understanding the factorization method, children, do let me know in the comment section. I will make a separate video explaining how to factorize. Now, over here again, I can multiply it with the table of 2. So, 2, 1s are 2, 2s are 4, 2, 8s are 16. Again, I will multiply it with 2, 2, 4s are 2, 6s are 12. Okay. And 2, 4s are 8. Isn't it? Now, again, I will multiply it with the table of 2, 2, 3's are 6, 2, 2's are 4. Again, I will multiply it with the table of 2 because in the units place 2 is there. So, 2, 1's are 2, 2, 6's are 12, 2, 8's are 16, 2, 4's are 8, 2, 2's are 4, 2, 1's are 2. Okay, so everything I have got now, what I have to do is I have to make a pair of 3, isn't it? So, see. So from here I will get 1, 2, from here I will get another 2 and from here I will be getting the third 2. So these are the 2's that you all have to use and this you all can do it separately over here. Now what is going to be the answer? 2, 2's are 4, 4, 2's are 8. So the answer is going to be minus 8 cube why minus because minus sign is there you all can directly add at the end also so your answer is going to be 3 minus 512 the answer is minus 8 i think you all have got how to factorize this method now let's solve the next sum which is the fifth one and the question is one is it two seven double four okay now again four is there so first we will factorize i'll show you the factorization method and then we will solve it all right so 2 1s are 2 2 3s are 6 2 7s are 14 2 2s are 4 two numbers we will take 2 6 are 12 2 8s are 16 2 6 are 12 2 3s are 6 2 4s are 8 2 3s are 6 now you all have got 3 over here. Okay, 3, 43. Now over here only we have done 3, 43. So same method you all can use it over here. You all have to keep an eye over there. So 7, 4s are 28. 6 over here, 7, 9s are 63. 7, 7s are 49 and 7, 1s are 7. So from here you all have got 2. 2 because set of 3 you all have to make. And 7 over here. Alright. So. Minus 2. 7. 44. Then the factors you all have to write. Is going to be. All these factors you all can first write it. I will show you in detail also. If you all want to write it. Or directly also you all can write it. Because you all have already shown the factorization method. So no need to write this also. If, if you all are going to write this also. No problem. If you all not write it. It is okay. So from here you all have got. 2 and from here you all have got 7. So 
टू इंटू सेवन अ कम्प्लीट क्यूब सेवन टू सेवन टू आर फोर्टीन सो फोर्टीन इज गोइंग टू बी द आंसर फॉर योर क्यूब सो माइनस वॉज दे आई विल डायरेक्टली राइट एट द एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी माइनस फोर्टीन इज गोइंग टू बी द आंसर फॉर थ्री माइनस टू सेवन डबल फोर Now the next sum is the sixth sum that is three two seven six eight. All right. Now first I will show you the factorization method and then we will write all the factors. Now over here eight is there which is an even number so we can easily divide it with a table of two. Two is the safest way to divide so two ones are two, two six are twelve, two threes are six, two eights are sixteen, two fours are then two eights are sixteen, two ones are two, two nines are eighteen, two twos are four. Two fours are eight. Zero two nines are eighteen. Two six are twelve. Okay, I hope you all have understood this step. Because we have taken two numbers over here, that is why I have taken a zero over here. Now two twos are four. Zero two fours are eight. Two eights are sixteen. Again two two ones are two. Two twos are four. Two fours are eight. So two fives are ten. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Two twos are four. Two fives are ten. Two six are Twelve. Again, two ones are two, two twos are four, two eights are sixteen, two six are twelve, two fours are eight, two threes are six, two twos are four, two ones are two, two six are twelve. This is getting a bit lengthier, but as I said, two is the safest number, so you all can use two till the end. Okay. Now we will simply make the pairs. Three, so one two we have got. You all can circle is in in this way. This, okay. Then this one, another set. Then this another set, and this one and another set of twos. So what we can do? We will write all these twos, or you all can directly write the circle one because we have taken the common. Twos. So I will write it over here. Three, two, seven, six, eight. The number is so big. So we will only take the common ones. That is, two cube into two cube into two cube into two cube into two cube. Okay. So what we have to do is we will take the common ones again. Okay, and write it in the bracket by multiplying it. Okay. So two into two into two into two and cube. So two twos are four, four twos are eight, eight twos are sixteen. I think I have missed one more two. I will multiply it over here. Two twos are four, four twos are eight, eight twos are sixteen, sixteen twos are thirty-two. So thirty-two is your answer. Isn't it easy? So if you all know the factorization method, no matter how big your number is, you will be easily getting the cube root. All right. Now let's solve the next question. That is simplify. Now simplify. I will solve it over here. Very easy way. Same method you all have to use. Twenty seven and one twenty five. Okay. Now twenty seven. How you are going to get twenty seven? We all know. Three. If we multiply three times, you will be getting twenty seven. So three is going to be the cube root of twenty seven. For one twenty five, five is going to be the cube root. So five you all have to multiply three times. Five fives are twenty five. Twenty five fives are one twenty five. Three threes are nine. Nine threes are twenty seven. So threes cube and fives cube. ठीक है, so three root of twenty seven and one twenty five in this form you all have to write separately because three is here, so three ka cube and three again in a cube form and then you all have to take the common numbers that is three upon five is your answer directly also you all can write from here but this is the proper way to show the cube method. Okay, if you all are finding anything difficult, children, do let me know in the comment section so that I can explain you only the problem that you all are facing. Fifty-four. Now, sixteen. As we know, eight into two is going to be sixteen. All right. Or you all can find it with with the form of cube root. 
then 54 you are going to get by 27 into 2. So over here your 2's are going to get cancelled and what is left? 8 upon 27 is left. Now 8 we all know how are you going to get 8 if we are going to take 2 3 times you will be getting 8. Means cube root of 2 is supposed to be 8 and cube root of 3 is supposed to be 27. So 3 16 upon 54 3 2 cube same thing you all have to write for 3 also. So the common number is going to be 2 upon 3. Alright, when you reduce it, you will be getting the answer for 16 upon 54 is supposed to be 2 upon 3. Okay, so it is very easy. You all can do it. One more step you all can add over here by taking the common ones or separately also you all can write it. Now let's solve the third one. Third one looks different but it is very easy. We have already done this sum. Okay. Now, they have already given you all the clue. If you all solve the first one, second one will be easily done. Okay. Now, see, the answer over here, they have already given. You will have to find the answer for this. Means you have the clue that the answer is supposed to be 9 somewhere. So, the method is going to be 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so this will be the way you all have to write it. 729 we will write it up. Okay. And how many zeros are there? Those many zeros you all have to write it over here. Those many numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Got it? How you have to add the decimal point? The, remove the decimal point sorry adding they have already done we have removed the decimal point by multiplying it in this form got it see 1 2 3 4 5 6 therefore 1 2 3 4 5 6 zeros we have added now separately we will write it okay zeros remember the zeros have to be correct over here the 3 we have to write now 729 we all know the cube root of 9 is going to be 729 and this is going to be the cube root of 100 isn't it easy now again we have to add a decimal point we have removed the decimal point over here but now we have to add so again it is very easy two zeros means after two numbers you all have to add a decimal point okay so after two decimal uh, two numbers you all have to add a decimal point and a zero so you all have got your answer over here i hope this exercise is clear to everyone if anything is there regarding a factorization method or anything do let me know in the comment section see you in the next video till then take care bye